Alright, in this video I will talk about how to set up Unity for version control software. So what we have right here on screen is a brand new Unity project and there's a couple settings we need to change or double check before Unity will work with version control software. So we're going to go into edit, project settings and then down to editor and then the two things we want to change, we want to come to this section here called version control and we want to change the mode to visible meta files right here. And then we want to make sure that asset serialization is forced to text so that way we can perform mergers on the individual files. That's all we're doing in Unity, for now, we've got some other bits and pieces we need to set up before then. Alright, so now that we're done with the settings in Unity, it's time to create a git ignore file. So to do that, I'm going to open my git bash, and we're going to do touch that git ignore to create the git ignore file. And then now that we have this git ignore file, we can open it and then we're going to go over and search for unity git ignore and it should bring you to this github page, if not I'll have the link in the description below but we're going to copy everything in this file into our file into our git ignore file so we copy everything in and then save this and now we have the git ignore file in here and we are ready to start using our git service the git service that I have chosen to use is a GitLab or a GitLab server so we're going to create a new repo and I'm gonna name this repo new unity project and then we're just going to create this project. Then this is creating the repo on the server and now we have a few things we need to do. So we need to get the HTTP link here to this project and then we're going to go back to our project folder and we're going to open a git bash client and then I'm going to type git init to turn this into a git repo and now we're going to add the remote origin so we'll git remote add origin and then we'll paste in the link that we got from creating the repo and now we've added the remote origin we want to add all of the current files so we're going to do a git add dot which will add all files that have changed which will be everything and then we're going to do a commit of the very first things that we've added so we'll just call it the initial commit So all of that's been saved locally and now I'm going to push to the repo and we'll be able to see it in the background. So git push origin master. And then this will take a little bit. I got to put my credentials in. All right, and now that we did that, I've pushed to the server and we should, if I refresh this page, it should now have Unity files in here. So we have stuff in here. Now, we can go and make changes to the local files and we'll be able to push those changes to the server as well. 
so we're back in Unity now, and we're just gonna create some random bits and pieces. So let's uh, let's add a cube, and um, we'll put it over here, and we will add a let's add a cylinder, and we'll move it over here. And let's, uh, we'll just do that for now. And now we will save this scene. It'll want us to pick a name for the scene, so we'll just name it whatever the hell we want. And then I'll also create a new script as well. So we'll create a new C-sharp script and we'll just call it non-behavior because it doesn't do anything. So now that we have created those, so we got an empty script, the scene that we just made that'll have these two objects in. Now we're gonna come back out to, we'll, we'll save the project and we'll come back out to the git bash window. And if we check we sh uh, git status, we should see that there's some new things that have been added. So we want to do another git add dot to add all of those files to the um, version control software and now we can do another commit where we say we made a new scene and script and now we've made that commit and we can do another push to the server or to the remote repo. So I just push to the new repo and now if we come back over to the repo and refresh we should see those changes reflected here. Now we have an assets folder that has the scene that we just made and the behavior script that we just made. And that's how we use Git with Unity.